वेलकम टुडे वी आर गोइंग ऑन एन एक्साइटिंग जर्नी टू लर्न अबाउट द ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एंड हाउ आर बॉडी प्रोसेस फूड द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज मेड अप ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री कैनाल एंड एसोसिएटेड ग्लैंड लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द पार्ट्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री कैनाल डाइजेशन बिगिन्स इन द माउथ Our teeth break the food into smaller pieces through chewing, making it easier to swallow. The tongue helps mix the food with saliva and pushes it to the back of the mouth. Three pairs of salivary glands present in the mouth and throat secrete a watery fluid called saliva. It contains an enzyme called salivary amylase which breaks down starch into simple sugars in the mouth this is the first step of chemical digestion the chewed food is now called bolus which on swallowing moves into the esophagus the esophagus uses rhythmic muscle contractions called peristalsis to push the food down to the stomach the stomach is a j-shaped muscular sac that churns the food and mixes it with gastric juices these juices contain hydrochloric acid and an enzyme called pepsin which begins protein digestion the acid kills harmful bacteria and creates an acidic environment for digestion now this semi fluid mass of partly digested food called chyme moves to the small intestine the small intestine is the longest part of the alimentary canal where complete digestion occurs it is divided into three parts the duodenum jejunum and ileum most digestion occurs in the duodenum while the jejunum and ileum are responsible for absorbing nutrients the duodenum is a c shaped structure that plays a critical role in digestion it receives the secretions of liver and pancreas the liver produces bile a yellowish greenish liquid that helps break down fats into smaller droplets bile is stored in the gall bladder and released into the duodenum the pancreas releases digestive enzymes like trypsin for digesting proteins and lipase for breaking down emulsified fats into the duodenum it also produces bicarbonate to neutralize the acidic food coming from the stomach the inner walls of small intestine have tiny finger like projections called villi which increases the surface area for nutrient absorption into the blood in the small intestine digestive juices are secreted by the glands present in intestinal walls it contain enzymes like maltase sucrase lactase peptidase and lipase these enzymes further break down complex carbohydrates into simple sugars proteins into amino acids and fats into fatty acids and glycerol the nutrients are then absorbed through the villi into the blood stream the undigested food moves into the large intestine which is divided into the cecum colon and rectum The large intestine absorbs water and minerals from the waste, turning it into solid feces. 
It also houses 100 million beneficial bacteria that help in breaking down some remaining nutrients. The chyme is transported from the ascending colon to the transverse colon to the descending colon and finally to the rectum. The rectum stores the feces until they are ready to be expelled from the body. The anus is the final part of the digestive system where the waste is eliminated during the process of defecation. The entire process from eating to eliminating waste is a complex and well-coordinated system that ensures our body gets the nutrients it needs to function.